So if you're like me, and you probably are because you're watching this video, you're excited to know that Vortex has released this new Viper HD reticle eyepiece. So this eyepiece will only work with the new generation or the latest Viper HD spotting scope line. It also says that it will not work with the non 85 millimeter spotting scopes. So I guess it's the 65 that they have out there or something like that. I did have that one briefly as well, but I do like the 85 millimeter, which is the 20 by 60. It will allow you to get plenty of open space here to see your target. The reticle is 33.5 times magnification. It's also a wide angle eyepiece. And this one is in MRAD form. You can also get it in MOA if you like that or prefer that more. Let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you guys how it comes packaged. So right off the bat, you'll find your little instruction manual and it will tell you different things you need to know about the eyepiece. As you can probably see right here. Just shows you how to work the adjustments, but we'll go into that as well. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You do have the little phone thing, which I don't really do unboxing videos, but this one's fairly easy. And as you can see, it's pretty well packaged in there. It's not going anywhere when it's bounced around in the UPS truck or whatever it is. So you have, this is like a microfiber cloth as well. It's got the Vortex logo on it. And you can tighten it up just by pulling this little string it does have a rubber cover here. Just slip that off. Also has a rubber cover here, which is gonna protect your lens because this is gonna be closed off when it's actually inside and you lock it down. So as you see right here, the first one right here, this is going to, this first little ring, if you can see this. So the first little ring right here this will adjust your reticle right here. And the second ring that's the closest to this little part right here, that will actually adjust where the reticle is, the cant of the reticle. How you level the reticle with your target. It will also give you a total of 12 mils to the right and 12 mils to the left. It also has the elevation up to 10 mils of adjustment there where you can spot your misses. Every mark on this reticle has its own purpose. It has its own length, as you can see here. It is also really nice for spotting your misses, as you can see here. We are about 0.9 mil to the right. In the same way, you can see that we're about two mil low right here. So here we see the obvious difference in size as well as depth. It's shorter and it is slightly smaller. As you'll notice right here, it is a little bit different looking than the factory one. So if you have like a scope mount or like a phone scope, something like that, it will not work with the original ocular or the original eyepiece that went with the Vortex HD line. So guys, with everything said and done, this is a really nice reticle eyepiece. It does give you some capabilities that you do not have with the standard Viper HD spotting scope. But if you do not want to shoot PRS or long distance or spot your misses, then this might not be the right thing for you. But if you are into long range shooting and you want to spot your misses, this is a great tool that will help you do so. It's also really nice because it keeps the same glass and it just gives you a lot of options when you're going out to distance as far as having someone come with you and spot for you, it will give them more opportunities to help you out. This can actually make you a better shooter as well because you'll learn to call wind a little bit better when you notice where the shots are actually going because a lot of people don't understand the full extent to what wind does to a bullet. 
the Vortex spotter with the new reticle eyepiece on it. Also, I have this protective cover over it as well. I wouldn't say it makes it more compact, but it is a shorter eyepiece. Target 100 yards. It's hard to really see how good the spotter is. Let's bring it up to the sky. you guys can see that okay about two miles maybe a little bit farther something like that it's definitely way out there the clarity is absolutely better in person than you'll see on this it's like an old barn way out there in the distance so everyone if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.